The project kickoff. This is the last step in the project initiation phase. And the kickoff meeting is a formal procedure to start the project. Now we're going to look at the purpose of the meeting, the meeting participants, and the agenda. The purpose of this meeting, why we need a kickoff meeting, it's an opportunity to make introductions to team members and key stakeholders about the project. It's also an opportunity to review some of the project's scope and objectives and review high-level timelines and milestones. So you gather a group of people and you introduce them to the project. You also spend time to review some of the risks and assumptions made on the project, some of the responsibilities, and at the end you make sure that you are getting some buy-in, meaning that the people who are participating, whether directly or indirectly with the project, have a good understanding and they are willing to participate and provide their support to the project. So who are the meeting participants? You will include, there will be the project sponsor, the project team, some key internal stakeholders and some external stakeholders. Your agenda you will start presenting the scope and objectives of the project. So why we have a project, what we're trying to solve. You will also present some information on the schedule and milestones, budget and contract, risk and assumptions, information on beneficiaries, and information about the roles and responsibilities of all the people who are presented during the kickoff meeting. The project scope and objectives is the opportunity to present what is the work of the project. You can even make a copy of the log frame matrix and give to participants so they will have an understanding of the elements of the impact, the outcomes, outputs, activities, and inputs of the project. It's a good summary for them to have an idea about the project. Then you look at the schedule. Uh, you present the project calendar as it is in the moment of the proposal and you highlight some of the internal and external dependencies meaning those areas where the project has dependencies either on the provision of sources of information or support or resources from other units or other organizations and some milestones that have been agreed by the donor. On the area of the project budget, you can then present information about the funding sources, some donor restrictions on how the funding will be used, some constraints about the budget, clauses, important clauses of the contract, and the process for financial reporting. If you want, you can even include people or representatives from the finance unit to help you in the presentation. You can also make some time to present the risk and assumptions. All the known risk and the probability and impact as you know at the beginning of the project. Also list present some of the assumptions and you can spend some time about safety and security for the team. Then you present a little bit on information on the direct and indirect beneficiaries of the project, uh, the partners who are going to be working with the project, and some basic information about some of the local organizations and the local government that will be involved with the project and information about the local context. Then you spend some time to review some of the roles and responsibilities. So you have the team and you review some of the basic roles that are going to be used in the project, some of the responsibilities that will be assigned in the project, the process for work review, the process for approvals of changes, and communications in the team. The idea is that after your meeting, all the people that participate have a clear understanding of what is the project. The project has some basic information, has some goals, has some information about the budget, the schedule, so that everybody has an understanding of what is the project and what is going to be the role in the project, whether they are part of internal or external stakeholders or they are the team. Everybody, one way or another, will be impacted by this project and will have a role. After the project kickoff meeting, then you're going to be ready to start working with your project team and going to the planning phase.